Welcome back to Sister Circle oh Live. And as we continue to kick off season two, we want to highlight our newest sister, yes. Trina. Yes, and Trina. And her very own sister, Cam. Yes. Check it out. A lot of people think that I'm just a party girl from what they see on Braxton Family Values. They don't realize I am college educated, that I'm an entrepreneur. Nice to meet you, Beejo. Thank you guys for coming. I appreciate it. They don't realize that I love boating. They don't realize that I am a great mom to two wonderful sons and hopefully a wife soon. Never know that. <laughs> I've always been on a different path than the rest of my sisters. I was never one that went with the grain when it came to them. I'm a free spirit and I, I just, I don't want to have any chains or ropes about me. I just want to be free and be me. What people don't know about Trina as a vocalist is I've always wanted to do country music. That would be like on bucket list top five. And I would love to do a song with Darius Rucker. Hey Darius Rucker. I think that we should get together or something so we can talk, number one, and hash out just all of our sister mess and get all that cloudiness away. Being on reality television is not easy because you're absolutely naked with all of your clothes on. And I'm the only person I know how to be, so what you see is what you get. Well, I heard word on the street was that the sisters was not coming to work due to, you know, some maybe disputes that was going on. There has definitely been a time or two when I said to myself, I don't want to do Braxton Family Values anymore. Um, especially in recent times. Uh, it just seems like our family has been going through a real detrimental time, actually. And at the end of the day, I'd rather have family than fame. So if it means the end of Braxton Family Values, I'll take it. Be quiet. This is not something you're accustomed to. It's to be quiet for at least 25 to 30 seconds. Being on Braxton Family Values has really taught me to use my voice because I was never very vocal. I would always just take things at face value without my voice being heard. And that's something I'll never do again. But I just want you to think about it. It took me a long time to figure out who Trina Braxton was. Especially because I had my first son when I was 20. And you don't really understand yourself at 20. <laughs> you can't possibly. And then to have to raise someone else, and then another one, and then have a mortgage at 20 years old, and traveling the, 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 the road, and it, it's, it's definitely not easy. I didn't really find Trina until Trina was able to live by herself. One of the biggest lessons that I learned when I was by myself, that I am good company. I love the water. Water is so serene to me. It's very relaxing to me. Um, I have a lot of friends in Miami and they have boats and yachts. And I was like, oh, I like this. And they let me get behind the wheel. Big mistake. After that happened, I'm like, I've got to get myself a boat. I like this way too much. And I put my little queens together. <laughs> and I did it. We're very excited. This is our first alternative night. Everybody knows that we are in support of LGBT. 10, 12 years ago, I was in California and my husband, Gabe, at the time, uh, there was this restaurant that we would always frequent and it was beautiful. It had a machine and you can dispense your own wine. So when I saw that, I was like, this is like the dopest concept in the whole entire world. And when we moved back to Atlanta, I was like, okay, I'm gonna open up a restaurant, but my coin's not allowed for that to happen at first. So I started a mobile bartending company, and I called it Bar Chicks. And the first year, thank the Lord, was very lucrative for me. And after that first year, I went ahead and opened up my first brick and mortar location. And, and now we have Bar Chicks. Please welcome the very handsome Mike Merrill. Being a talk show host was something I always envisioned for myself. Even when we were children, when we were children, you know who you had the VCR, you know, the, the, the camcorder? They were really big back then. But we would put it on the tripod and interview each other. Like we were talk show hosts. Now God brought it to fruition. So grab your tickets now and he is selling out. The sister circle has given me the opportunity to do me by myself without the crutch of my sisters. And I love my sisters and I love working with them, but I also am taking this opportunity to have my own identity. Right now, Trina Braxton is thankful and blessed. Yeah. 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 You know 
what's very fun about you? <laughs> the fact that you be like, I really like that, and then you go do it. Yes, yes. <laughs> yes. That's very, very fun. That's yes. good. Yeah. That's, what does it feel like looking at yourself? Like I mean, of course, you see yourself all the time, yeah. but... Yeah. When you're sitting there and you're having the conversation, mm -hmm. you, you don't you don't listen to yourself. Yeah. You know, you're just being conversational. And now that I look back on it, I am so blessed. Mm -hmm. And yeah. I am just like I just said, I'm I'm very thankful yes. for where God has placed my life right now. Yes. Yes. That's Absolutely. Awesome. That's awesome. Absolutely. I, I noticed that you said uh, in your piece that you wanted to have your own identity. Yes. And and I love that. And you mean outside of the the Braxton's yes. name. Exactly. See Trina. Exactly. Yes, yes, yes. I, we worked together since, I, let's see, we had our first record deal when we were like, it was like 1989. So oh, I was wow. like 14 mm. years old. Uh -huh. So I've always, to my left and my right, always had them, no matter if it were singing or being on Braxton Family Values. And now I get to look to my left and right and have a whole new set of sisters. Yes! <laughs>